Hey everyone, so I caught this giant hobo spider in my house and I came up with a brilliant plan for it. Now I don't want to kill it and I don't want to interrupt its living space, but I do want to know when it's coming at me at night. So I decided to make the world's first glow-in-the-dark hobo spider. So I have here the world's brightest glow-in-the-dark pigment. And the nice thing about this is it's a powder that's water-soluble and completely non-toxic. So that means that I can put it on the spider and it won't hurt the spider at all and it will come off in water. So no harm will come to the spider, but the nice thing will be that I'll be able to see it in the dark. And since this is the brightest glow-in-the-dark pigment, it should be pretty bright as well. So I caught this spider in my house about two weeks ago. I've been keeping it as my pet. You can see its graveyard down here of dead bugs. So I'm a little bit nervous to do this experiment today because I've heard conflicting information on hobo spiders. Some research says that almost all spider bites that we previously had attributed to brown recluse spiders were actually hobo spider bites. But then some research says that hobo spider bites aren't venomous and they won't hurt you at all. But I don't know if I'm willing to find that out. So hobo spiders are extremely fast and it, what makes them a little bit scary is that they move really fast and they seem to come right at you. Whoa, I just caught that fly. But people say that's not because they're trying to attack you, but it's because actually they don't have very good eyesight. And so normally they try to run away from you, but sometimes what happens is they run right towards you. And so it looks like they're running to attack you. But I'm not gonna let that happen. I'm gonna make it glow in the dark so I can see it coming at me and run from it. So hobo spiders are kind of easy to pick out because they make these funnel shaped webs. So this powder should be able to stick to the hairs on the spider. And what the spider uses those hairs for is to fill vibrations. So these hairs are very sensitive to very minute vibrations, mostly meant for when something is caught in their web that they can feel the vibration of the struggling insect and they can come out and grab it. Okay, first I need to try to get it off this stick. Oh man, this is gonna be scary. Oh man, it's looking right at me. What do you think, think it can bite through latex? Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, he built a huge spider web in here. This was my watering pail that I would put some water in and lower it down so it didn't die of dehydration in there. So now I'm just gonna pour some lip powder in and coat it, and then we'll let it go in my house and see if we can actually detect if it's on the wall in pitch black. Oh, <laughs> okay, it's right at the top here. Doesn't seem to be affected by the powder at all. Okay, let's see if this worked. Okay, now this is just a bad idea, I know it. I should not be doing this. My wife's gonna kill me. She told me to not let the spider go in the house no matter what, but I made it glow in the dark, so we're gonna see it come and it's not like it's gonna sneak up on us at night or something. Oh no, there it goes. Oh, <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Look at it. Okay, it's on my wall. Holy cow. Look at that. Oh man. Look at it crawling up the wall. No way. Look at it. So when the lights go out, I'll easily be able to see it. <laughs> there it goes. Oh man, look at that crawling. Glow in the dark spider. <laughs> that is so crazy. Joanna. Wait, turn off the light and look on the wall. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is the scariest thing. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> So the plan is to let it loose and we can know when it's coming at us. Like it, it'll be in our house, but we'll know when it's coming That's at so us. That's so dumb. <laughs> Why? You cannot do that. 
We just leave it in the house and it can live with us. It's moving. <laughs> You better not lose that thing. It's already on the wall. That's so gross <laughs> and scary. Look at it move. All that. I'm gonna have a dream about that. I guarantee I'm gonna have a dream about that. <laughs> it's not that bad. Holy cow, look at it. Now this lit pigment is really good pigment to use because it's one of the world's longest lasting pigment. And so once you charge it up, it stays lit for a long time, several hours. Okay, so I've lit it loose in my house. I think my wife agrees with me. I'm okay to let it go. So now I can see it coming. No fear now. See, and there it is. Holy cow. Okay, go free, little one, and remember, I'll see you coming in the dark. Okay, now that was terrifyingly awesome. So if ever I'm filming one of my videos and you see that thing behind me, let me know. All right, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit that subscribe button and remember to hit the bell to be notified when my latest video's out. If you don't hit the bell, you won't be notified most likely. And head over to theactionlab.com to check out the Action Lab subscription box. And thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.